Why is it a good time to watch my videos now going forward? Um, there's a very simple answer to this one is I'm in the transition period now. Um, I have a few ideas on how to make money in Spain. I will continue to grow stuff in the Philippines. Um, growing not being plants, growing as in finish our, our three bedroom apartment and renting out the apartments etc etc. Um, but in Spain you probably notice I've been a bit laid back the last couple of months. I've been calculating. Uh, last week I was looking at warehouses. Can you know I mentioned the dog food? The dog food's a stepping stone. Um, I know I've mentioned before about a small bit of investment I roll it to make it a bigger business or I'll roll the first investment if it's profitable into smaller other projects later. This is what's happening now. Um, I'm just waiting for the guys in the UK to sort of give us the green light to get the stuff going with the dog food and from the dog food I can see that expanding out into something quite large here. Um, but it's relying on other people. I know they're keen to do it. They've got the money. Um, well, I'm not investing in it. Well, I'm looking at what the options are at the moment. I'll be dealing with the wholesale side of it. Um, but there's also options for retail stores once everything starts moving. And there is some stuff I haven't even discussed in the channel before. Um, I've had my own furniture company. Um, I used to manufacture and wholesale furniture and retail it um, I've also dealt with imports from India to the UK and I've I've run multiple businesses in the past this is this is one of the things that is this sort of email uh, video has been spurred on by a conversation yesterday somebody left me a message asking me what work I do in Spain um, I, I wouldn't say I work in the traditional sense of working for somebody I'm more of a person that sees a little opportunity and will act on it. That's why I haven't rushed into anything in Spain because what I've had to do is sit there and think. Um, I've got a limited budget. As you know, I've got enough money for another year. But I, I know a lot of people go, well, that's a lot of money. No, it's not. That is my budget for living. I can't touch that budget. And I know some other people would gamble that money on an idea. I won't do it. Um, this is why it's important that I work with other people that do have, A, the capital behind them, B, have got the goods that I can offload easily, and C, I can trust. So the, the first ideas are going to be quite complicated to get going, uh, to do with things like food, for example. You've got to relabel them in Spain because they've got to be in Spanish so although this food is already in the EU we've got to put sticky labels on everything um, so getting all the requirements going will be an initial headache but it's not gonna break the bank um, and I I can see it making some serious money once it gets going um, but the same with the business spaces and stuff the business spaces although it's not my building um, I'm trying to proactively get people to come together to work together. Gordon is already at the offices. Um, Andy is not far from us, but he's quite happy working from home. But later on, I want to try and get people to work together to build something of a much larger scale, which will take a lot of time because you've got to get people to trust each other first. Um, but also see the potential in where we're taking things. So, yeah, this is a good time to actually watch what I'm doing um, because if you seriously think about going to the Philippines or something else, um, this is how I generate money. Um, I'm going to share some of it. I'm not going to share all of it, I'll be honest. If you emailed me and asked me questions how I did something, I will respond to it. But a lot of stuff I don't put on the internet purely because... Um, I'd be giving away too much. <laughs> well, no, not. I'll be honest with you. Even if I made a video, a lot of people wouldn't do it anyway. Um, but it's because I've got other people involved. 
as such, I can't really share too much um, on the inner workings of other people's businesses. Um, for, let's, let's take, for example, where we get dog food from. Um, if I actually gave that source away, it could actually hinder our own developments. Um, the whole concept is there's opportunity there. You've just got to see it. Um, it could be plant food or aquaponics, you know, because Spain's got irrigation issues. So, um, well, I say irrigation, I mean, it's got water problems. Um, so aquaponics could be something somebody would want to look at. Um, it, there's all sorts. The, the whole point is here is looking at opportunity. That's why I've gone, dog food is so random and may seem strange to other people. But it's, as you probably, if you watched the video I made on Guadamara on the other channel, I was talking about the amount of dog poo <laughs> that's in the parks. You know, um, it's mainly the matter though. Um, the water park here is terrible for it. Um, but it does seem like one in three people do have a dog because we're in a place that's full of old people. Um, so their friend is often that four-legged guy. Um, so as such, that's probably one of their... Well, probably... It probably gets thought of more than the grandkids, to be honest, <laughs> because it's with them all the time. So dog food, you know, you might find that takes off and then I go, oh... That, that's working let's get some dog blankets in let's get this in. you know what it's like once you start seeing opportunities there you start expanding out the main thing is get the dog food going once that starts going everything else is going to roll from it um so yeah it's a good time to see what i'm up to um the last couple of months like i said i haven't really been too proactive in investing in this or that because i need to see where the land lies where we live in La Mata, it's got a lot of dogs, but virtually no British. Um, so there's like, well, where's the market here? The answer is actually, I need to search for it. I need to find out who can sell the dog food, what locations will buy it from us in La Mata. But then you start thinking, okay, should we just go wholesale? Should we open a retail store? This is why you've got to sit there and analyze everything. And the reason I say all this is this is how I work. I don't jump in at anything. I calculate the risks on everything. Um, at the same time, I've got a few other ideas. I was hoping that we'd be releasing some software for the facilities management industry, but my program has disappeared. So I've now got to sit here where these things are and learn how to program apps. Something I haven't looked at because I'm not a fan of apps, to be honest. Um, I'm a proper computer user. I don't mind using CLI, which is command line interface, the little uh, blinking white dot on a black screen and typing away. I do PBX systems like the, you know, the uh, phone exchanges. I'm, I, I'm quite happy to program. Um, but I was hoping the guy would have come back to me because he knew what the project was, etc. And it was a free project. It was something we were going to give away, but the um, the knock-on effect would have been pretty good. But now he's knocked me back four weeks because I've now got to sit there and do it myself. Not that, I, not that I'm complaining, uh, but the amount of work that will come from this later on, I could be travelling for the next 10 years on the money if it, if it pays off. Uh, depending if the companies buy into it, which if you do it right, they will do. Uh, anyway, I'm yabbering on. But yeah, this is my transition period. This is now moving from, okay, we're in Spain, got the kids in school, got the um, house sorted, day-to-day -day stuff. I'll still be posting the day-to-day -day stuff, by the way, but I'm now starting to put pieces together of the jigsaw puzzle that will make this long-term sustainable. Thanks for watching.